Hi everyone, I'm Claire, and at the National Space Centre it's Gas Giants Week, and I'm going to be looking at Jupiter's moons. Jupiter has 79 moons, and four of which are its most famous, the Galilean moons, Io, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto. They were first discovered in 1610 by Galileo with his telescope, and they were the first celestial bodies found orbiting around something other than Earth. This went against the geocentric view held at the time, that the Earth was the centre of the universe, and all the celestial bodies orbited around it. The first of the Galilean moons is Io, the most volcanically active body in the solar system. It's slightly larger than Earth's moon, and is home to hundreds of volcanoes. Its volcanic activity is down to Jupiter's powerful gravity, and the pull of its two neighbouring moons, Europa and Ganymede. Europa is slightly smaller than Earth's moon, its surface is mostly water ice. There's evidence that below the surface there's an ocean of liquid water, with more than twice as much water than on Earth. With water energy and the right chemical elements, it makes it a good place for life. Jupiter may not have the most moons in the solar system, but it does have the largest, Ganymede. It's the only moon to have its own magnetic field, which causes auroras to form around its north and south pole like how on Earth we have the Aurora Borealis, or the Northern Lights. There's strong evidence that it has its own underground ocean. The last of the Galilean moons is Callisto. It's Jupiter's second largest moon and the third largest in the whole solar system. It used to be thought of as just a lump of ice and rock, with not much going on. Then in the 1990s, NASA's Galileo spacecraft revealed it might have a salty ocean beneath its surface which added it to the list of places there might be life outside of Earth. If you have some binoculars or a telescope, you'll be able to spot these four moons in the night sky, where they'll look like tiny stars around Jupiter. And there we have just four of Jupiter's 79 moons. Join me next time for I name all of Saturn's 82 moons off by heart.